race like it was 100 years ago. Had nothing changed. The roads are still the same. Still bike riding on, on cobblestone, and that makes it unique. There's so much history behind it. Uh, that's probably one of the only races that I knew of when I was a child growing up. It's absolutely out of control. I mean, guys slip and slide everywhere, crashes. It doesn't look like a bike race. Field 200 riders, 22 teams, and at least 25 nationalities. All the best riders are there. One of the five big classics in the world, so it's a very special, very special race. If you can win a Paris-Roubaix, well then, I think your career is made. It's the, uh, the greatest classic race to win, but maybe the, uh, the most horrible to ride. Yeah, it's a mixture between pleasure, because you finish one, finish the queen of the classics and you are destroyed also. It's, it's more a fight with the cobblestones, it's, it's also a fight with the riders. You have to like the stone, yeah? that's the most important thing. Even the, you know, the police motorcycles have to ride motocross bikes just to get across it, it's totally epic. Uh, the hardest one day race in the calendar. You've kind of, I kind of feel the same after I do a, after a Tour de France, after three weeks of racing I feel the same after doing a one day Paris-Roubaix. If you're good, you can still lose because you damage on the bike or crashes or so it's an exciting race. Uh, luck is the most important thing. If you're strong and you're a little bit lucky, normally you stay in front. Every morning when I wake up, I see myself winning it.